everybody, welcome back to Vintage Story, episode 31, with me, Sid. And uh, last episode, we poddled around the farm, mainly getting a whole load of farming work done. We're, we're trying to get to the point where I've got enough food to actually go out exploring again. My food is a little bit poor at the moment. It is April the 5th, um, so still early spring. The temperature is nice and I am just heating up the oven to make myself some bread because my food situation is still fairly poor. I've got these over here which is basically mushroom stew and that is pretty much it. So I'm going to make up 20 loaves just to uh, hammer that one. I have been out stripping leaves off of trees we've got the older what well, we can't actually eat those but we've got walnut seeds so we can plant some walnut trees but i do need to do more of that the pumpkins are cooking up nicely and yeah i think that oh and i've got a spare axe with me um so <coughs> i think this episode is still going to be a little bit preparatory uh, in so far as we will be, you know, trying to get to a point where we can get off, go and do some adventuring, go and actually do some caving. Um, now, there's a question mark about whether there's any point in doing the caving in this area. And I don't think there is. I think we've got claystone and slate, and I don't think we've actually got a tin-bearing rock beneath us. So that is a thing that we need to be aware of um, because obviously we need tin bearing rock and if I just whack the chat on at the moment I'm also expecting a temporal storm at some point so I'm just going to go to uh, vintage story ores uh, get the old wiki up because that's the probably the easiest way and uh, if I want tin which is, if I remember rightly, Cassarite, yes. We need Firelight. Oh, actually, Slate. It's, but it will be poor and it's near the surface. So that's the shallow ores. Um, and then if we want to go for the deeper ores, the Cassarite is, again, in Firelight, Slate, Andesite. So the Granite, apparently, is the one we need to find. <laughs> Oops. Hello. Anyway, um, so my my job right now is to cook a little bit of bread, have a little bit of a snooze through the night, and go and... Oops, damn it. Let me just get that. Come on. Get the part baked one out. Oh, that's got to go back in. Uh, <laughs> don't know what I'm doing. Oh dear, how did that cool down so rapidly? Uh, anyway, in a moment it will be fully baked. I don't know what the difference, but I'll have to check up what the difference between part baked and fully baked is. Uh, but yeah, I'm at the moment I'm kind of recording week to week, so um, I'm only rarely more than three or four days ahead of myself. Um, partially, you know, just to keep keep things sane for me. But it has got the benefit that it does um, does mean that you're seeing, and I see the the comments sooner so like for example Rorax mentioned that you know the way we harvest trees will matter for whether we get sticks and um, seeds so hence why I'm rocking my shears in my backpack and I'm actually out of knife and I'm wondering whether to forge up a copper knife while I'm at it because um, a copper knife has a durability of 300, a standard knife has a durability of 45, that it's really is a no-brainer. So I will probably do that in the morning. Uh, I believe a couple of my pumpkins are ready, and again, a comment, and I apologise, I'm terrible at remembering exactly who made what comments, um, was that um, pumpkins we don't need to wall off because raccoons and uh, rabbits don't eat them. So what we can do is we can basically get a pumpkin patch somewhere in the world. And I, I'm looking at my mini-map uh, 
but let me just have a quick look i'm looking at my map and thinking maybe round round about down here and just make a big old pumpkin patch way out of the way maybe backfill that with some of the dirt we've accumulated oh better get that out before it burns um and then we can you know get the pumpkins so I really, 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 really want to be in a situation next winter where we are self-sufficient for the entire winter. And the only way we're going to do that is if we do a lot of preparation this winter. Um, <laughs> just like real life, really. Um, and still no sign of a temporal storm. So anyway, I'm going to finish off these... Um, Baps, cobs, rolls, bread rolls, uh, baguettes, uh, I'm trying to think what are the uh, balm cakes, that would be a, a nice Yorkshire phrase for them. Uh, <laughs> it's, uh, it is an interesting thing that there are how many different words there are to describe a, a bread roll. Uh, I, I'd be really interested in seeing if uh, other people's colloquial phrases for bread rolls because i'm aware of i mean around here they tend to be called cobs in nottingham that's uh that's a, a thing uh, i don't know why by the way um as i say up in yorkshire certainly lancashire and yorkshire the balm cakes um obviously you know french or other bread rolls there's all sorts of different terminologies for them but uh, yeah i uh, just for a simple bread roll. Having said that, it shouldn't surprise me because we certainly have enough colloquialisms for uh, bits of the male and female anatomy. So, so the fact that we can come up with seventeen hundred different words for a bread roll shouldn't surprise me at all. Anyway, on that note, I shall see you in the morning. I decided to work through the night and make a uh, a copper knife while I was because I'd worked until two in the morning and I didn't want to I thought let's just take the opportunity to right this is where uh, if I need to do the splits it's a shame you don't get two Uh, it's probably a mod. Um, certainly, I think once we've finished with this season of Vintage Story, I'll be looking to do a more modded version. Uh, I do keep looking at the mods, and there's some really interesting ones, to be honest. Um, but let's just make myself that copper knife. There we go lovely that will not very impressive looking is it but no oh well i didn't make it for its impressive form now what i had thought about um was the the setup of space in there yeah so i'm going to take though uh another cut i'm going to take both of, one of those actually i think two would be too much uh, and you are walnut boards, you are oak boards, you are pine board. We'll go with oak. Uh, seven, probably 21, maybe even 28 of these. Uh, and we should be okay to do that and make myself some tables. Uh, is that going to be enough? Oh, I can always come back. Let me just take some more bah, some more boards with me oh hello no come just get out of the way so if i take another three tables worth that'll be 21 that should do us and then we are we're good it just occurs to me that the layout in the forge is less than optimal and it's not even five o'clock and we are looking pretty fine for light and start of the day so 
my thoughts were. To collect all of this lot up and grab a table or two. Maybe there. Again, I know the wooden, it doesn't doesn't make any sense to have wooden furniture in a forge but you know it is what I have got so oh, interesting I'm gonna need no oh, eyes too all right that's fine not a problem um, I've got play I did bring plenty of tables so we can do that we can take you and pop you there and we can pop all of those there um, and that should give me what I want there now I'm definitely going to need three more I might even need more than I don't know why I've done why this is only doing it one, but I'm obviously holding the wrong button. It's, it's user error, so you know. Let's not uh, let's not get all blamey. Can I just pick you up? I can. Let's not destroy that then. If I can avoid it, pop you there. Stick a couple of those in there grab these and again pop them out of the way mm, one more I think we'll pop you there and we shall pop you like a so And we can just take these, stick them over there, and it just gives, hopefully, a little bit more organisation to the place. Um, that will leave that there for now. Okay, well, that passed a little bit of time time for us. Did not mean to do that, but I know I could try and always right, and I know the other one will probably attack me, but. That's fine. Because it's the female of the species and it should do. Come here. You. into a wolf aren't I right okay that might have solved a few few food problems um, low weight though so probably not going to get a huge amount off of it but let's see what we do get red meat yeah no fat unfortunately did I lose that arrow I'll bet I did <laughs> Uh, I will probably have to go hunting chickens at some point as well now. Yeah, that's gone. Kind of understand why primitive hunters would have been really, really careful um, with their 
casts and their arrows and what they should, you know, making sure that any shot they took they actually had the shot because you can't you can't afford to lose them they are seriously hard to get hold of <laughs> uh, if this game is anything like reality which you know it probably isn't but there we go right let me uh, have a look at you again your weight is low so no fat of it but uh, well, we can't have everything we have got enough to make red meat something or other I don't know whether I've got anything that I can oh maybe I have hang on you're mature and you are You make pumpkin slices times four with a knife. Yes. But you also get seeds, which is kind of something I wanted as well. So what I need to do is work out what I'm going to... Can I... I could use two. Uh, actually, mature turnips. Mature turnips. I'll have them. Mature turnips. Couldn't have uh, come at a better time, really, but this is starting to come up Millhouse. Seriously, coming up Millhouse. There are four or five, there are five or five. Oh, wow, we are. We're laughing. I mean, the carrots are miles away, but who cares? Because we've got turnips and pumpkins. Which is great. Right, so I can definitely make myself uh, a turnip, pumpkin and meat stew, which is going to be good. Um, let's get that underway immediately. Oh, it's actually got food in it. Uh, hmm. How do I handle this then? Well, I suppose I can eat that. Take that. Jump in there. Go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can only do four at a time. Let's take one of those. I'm just curious as to whether I can use it in this way. And the easiest way to find out is give it a go. Bang, and boil pumpkin, lovely. And one, two, three, four. Great, so I've got enough to make quite a lot of food actually. All right, let me sort myself out and I shall be back in a moment. All right, I've got two solid things and that one's fresh for 2.1 years. I've sealed them both um, with what bit of fat I had. So they are good for storage. Now I'm going to need to make a lot more of these if we're going to store all of these foods and I also do need to grab you I'm not going to be storing this one I'm just going to pop you there for now and we'll take the that out and oops pop you back so nothing has really changed significantly other than that I do need to go and replant my turnips which I'm going to now go and do Oh, there's another, another walking source of protein there. Um, I'm going to go and replant my turnips. I don't think I've seen anything about... Oh, no, I haven't. Hello. Ah! Um, I was going to say, I don't think I've seen anything about... Um, I'm going to make a flint knife just for doing this, because it's... I know it kind of defeats the point but 
of making the copper knife but when I'm just doing grass removal like this I, I think it just makes it makes sense and I know I could press the alt I'm just being lazy and and I mean when you think about it I'm actually being seriously lazy not just any old lazy this is this is proper proper real laziness that I can't be bothered to actually press the alt key um, we'll have that that's a different one that wasn't wasn't what I was expecting there but that's fine so we'll, the turnips we're not going to do over here we're going to do over there this is going to be different fields and what we will do is for now we're going to make this a not the turnips the pumpkins the turnips we will put into this space and we'll just rotate them around a wee bit And as we get more, eventually we should be able to have... I mean, I can't help but think I overdid the fields just a smidge. But, um, right. What do I need? I need to put some stuff away. I need to go and... Yeah, I need to put some stuff away primarily. <laughs> Oops, hello. That's not what I wanted. That one. That can go away in there. No, 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 no. Uh, that can go away in there. What's your temperature on those? Minus five. So we probably need to think about doing those shortly as well. As well as the rice, although that is not so hot. Um, we can pop in the leather, the bones. And I think... Uh, well, we'll pop that away for now. It can stay in there. Got a lot of leather to process, so we are going to need to get that one going. And actually, that's a, that is another tree seed, isn't it? Yes, it is. Any more tree seeds? Tree seeds anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Right. Uh, I'm not sure whether the fertility of the soil that matters but we're going to use medium fertility soil where we plant the thing and I, I'm going to assume that it doesn't require tilled dirt to grow across uh, I probably should check that because assume makes an ass of you and me as the um, as the old legend goes and that's clearly something that I wouldn't want to happen. Do I want to grab this? Oh God. I suppose I should. Just because, and I should have really brought the scythe for this. Or at least the other knife blade, seeing as this is going to break very soon. I'll just get a load and then I'll I'll cover the rest over. And I think I can live with that as a choice. And a knife from I could make another knife as well, of course, that's true. <laughs> uh yeah. Or I could just continue with the copper knife, which I don't really want to do because And this is the level we're coming up to, so that's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go and do a little bit of research on pumpkin growing because I did a little bit and I realised there's probably a little bit more to it than I'd originally suspected. So, but we are definitely going to want to hydrate the soil, that's for certain, uh, around where the stem is, I assume. And, uh, and that's as much as I know, really. <laughs> I presume we probably want to keep it weed free as well. I don't know. We'll we'll have to find out when we get some some uh, 
some weeds growing near a stem. Now I think they grow up to four distant from wherever so I think we probably want to be looking at maybe about here for the water. Uh, and then if we were to place that there and there for starters need a bucket let me go and get this sorted I'll be back in a sec okay that's got that set doing its thing so there should be plenty of room there uh, I haven't actually researched it I just cleared the area for now I'll do the research in a little minute because you know night time's coming um that goat there needs to sorry sheep that sheep there needs to go um because he's in the way and that will flower in one day in less than a day less than a day weather permitting i don't know whether i can get this guy got him right didn't really want to do that but he was in the way <laughs> a little bit more fat that's excellent means we can oh hang on uh, I need to also lose something Oh man, uh, how do I handle this? Let me throw that on the ground, get that. We'll come back. But I don't want to waste the fat. So let me go and sort myself out, get through the night, and I will be back in the morning. All right, it is a fine morning. It's absolutely persistently raining. Uh, <laughs> However, we have got good food now. We've got... Uh, I can plant a couple of trees, I suppose. Let me try... I'd like to get one over in the garden space here, perhaps. Or maple. I think we'll go with a walnut. So I think that will look nice. And then maybe... And again, I'm not keen on the idea of putting one right over the fire pit so we'll stick one here and we'll have a maple seed uh, maybe here-ish and then these can grow up and do their thing we have got another pumpkin which is cool we've got lots of more flowering vines going on carrots you are still a four or five those look to be mature but we'll we'll grab all of those at a later date parsnips are still going parsnips are still going flax is getting close uh, what we will do is we'll take you however we'll stick you into our cellar because apparently they store stays fresh for 18 days let's see what happens when i put it into the um into the cellar shall we um didn't use the fat to seal that jar of food that i made overnight because it was only three portions and i'd rather use it um in there anyway you are now 92 days that keeps well um I'm going to let the other one grow a little bit first, do the experiment routine, but apparently it's all from the source block of the vine, so yeah, it's kind of, I think, where we expect the uh, the growth to be. Let's just have a little wander over and have a look. Um, and still, no sign of a temporal storm, so I suppose I shouldn't be too... Uh, I, I sound disappointed, I know, and I'm not, I'm, you know, uh, obviously I'm not disappointed at all. So I need to get reeds because I need to make skeps to do my bees. I need to also get more trees so I can A, build up my firewood supply and B, uh, build up my decorative capability uh, around the place. So we are going to come and strip this, uh, this tree down. Soak as well, which is 
doubly handy. And then we'll uh, we'll see how we go. If nothing else, we'll come out of it with a good selection of sticks. Oh, I got an acorn already, look. So that's perfect. And then we'll chop the wood down and we'll get the fire and that will make all sorts of lovely lovely firewood for us and the world will be good and happy uh chop down this tree get the next one and uh, yeah i'm going to work a little bit further away from the base so i'm not chopping down trees that um are aesthetically pleasing around the thing the area so so this maple for example can go and I will uh, pop that up there. All right, back in a bit. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, I've grabbed myself a bunch of cattails, which is probably not that many. I think I need 16 per, so that's only enough for, for a couple of skeps. I've got probably another 13 or so back at the uh, in the storage as well. So that's enough for maybe, I think I'll probably make three three skeps comfortably however there is something i would like to try and i really could do with some more clay at some point this is probably not the um, ideal time to do this with it raining because i won't be able to hear any um any hostiles but after on the back of my success last time with the uh, wolf uh, I'm feeling probably a little braver than I should and uh, yeah um, probably a little braver than I should but I wanna, I've got an experiment I want to try uh, and that experiment is quite simply will pumpkin vines grow on rock or do they need to be on dirt? I mean, obviously the individual parent stem needs to be on a farm plot, but I can't find anything in the wiki that says that they need to grow out. Now, in theory, there is no reason why a plant couldn't vine out over virtually any material, unless it was as part of that, you know, vining was seeking nutrients uh, at which point you know it would obviously have an issue i want you uh Lika, teal one okay let's have the pine log shall we oh hello mr piggy i'm leaving you there for now i would kind of like to kite you back home but Maybe it could be awkward given the uh, given the location we're in. We'll see. But first things first, I want this out of the way. Yep, oh, okay. And then we get to make up our new axe and complete the job. <sighs> right. I think 50 will be enough, but realistically, I am going to... Did I not get the resin off of that? I'm not too worried about the uh, saplings for this, or sticks. I've actually come out of this quite well thank you very much interesting didn't get the resin oh well um, I'm not going to cry over something that doesn't actually matter uh, what I am going to do is grab a whole load more of those and I'll be back in a moment all right, let the experiment commence. I have surrounded this one apart from here in things. So if this cannot vine, 
then it should do nothing. This one is at stage two. If it can vine, it may be able to do something. I want to let the weeds grow around it, see how they affect it. We'll, um, we'll experiment. It's, it's almost like going back and playing Minecraft for the first time ever. That I don't know whether you remember those heady days where you didn't know what the hell was going on and that big green thing that you thought was going to be friendly um, hissed, them, hissed at you and then blew up. Uh, <laughs> uh, in fact, I, I wonder sometimes whether it's even possible to re-experience that experience now. We'll ripen in four days, ripen in three. We're starting to see these bushes doing something which is good uh, the old trees that I planted up here that are doing something I have planted a few trees around the place but I don't want to go too mad um, and I'm not seeing any more withered pumpkin okay so this one this one has withered and died maybe that was our lot then well um, leave it a little bit longer because again when we don't know something the way to find out is try it and I need to make some scaps because I'm going to have to go and I can't avoid it. I'm going to have to do these bees. Um, no. That is not what I wish to happen. Alright. So it's not quite that. Um, a bit more luggage we've got still got some seedage we've got those we don't need you what i actually need will you work with fire clay scab require yeah it will work with fire clay and in one of these i have more i've got enough there for not for one shy of four come on there's got to be one reed somewhere that I've not harvested yet just the one hmm not there no alright I need to go and find that one elusive reed and then I can get my skeps in in theory this would be the ideal time to um, harvest a hive because Bees don't fly in the rain. Um, I've heard, and I'm never certain whether how much of a myth this one is or not. But uh, having, I mean, as I said before, I used to help my uh, grandfather keep bees when I was a kid. But there is a myth that bees cannot fly at night. Uh, as I say, I have absolutely no idea if that is true or not. None. Zero. Nada. Nothing. So, yeah. Um, I mean, the problem with bees is, and, and is, is there's a lot of myths about bees. There's the, the myth that says that they can't fly. <laughs> and obviously if that's the case nobody's actually told the bees yet and uh, I'm sure these guys would have why is that going off um, I'm sure they would have noticed by now if they can't to be honest it's fairly likely that that would be the case. I need to eat something. I've just realised my food is way low. Uh, right, what we got? One serving. One time. Right, there you go. And... Nom nom nom. Right. Lovely. Let's go make these gaps. I need... Uh, da -da -da -da. Who 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think that's what I need. And should make me four empty skeps. Yeah, okay. Um yeah, I need to remember how this works. It's night time. I may have to go and run and hide in the um in the ground, so Oh, that's handy. We actually get some of the uh, stuff back as well. And we can put down our empty scap. Uh, I may just do three of these, actually. Oh, run away. They didn't like that. Oh yeah, they're attacking the uh, dummy. Uh, I'm going to try. Don't know whether that worked or not. they've worn off oh no they're after me angry bees Come on then, Angry Bees. Have they gone? I think those ones have gone as well. So let's place down another empty scap. Uh, and I think we're going to do this one, actually. Which we got away with. Right. Well, that's the bees harvested. I've been saying I was going to do that for like forever. So that's a huge one. How, oh, and you are done. So that means I can chop that up and we can go and get another thing of tannin. Which if I double check. Wheat tannin is... It's five logs, isn't it? Right. Five, 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 five logs. Five oak logs. Five oak logs. Plus potentially another five for the strong. Actually, now we'll... Oh, I think I've got them screwed up here. Because I want them to go that, how do I put this? There's, there's an order to this, which should go, ooh, hello. Should go lime water, weak tannin, strong tannin. And if I'd have thought this through, what I would have done is I would have... put the weak tannin where this barrel is so I can work the old thing now I need to do my leather thing so let me go and grab 
that as well while we're while we're at it, while it's dark. And uh, I'll get the another batch of leather running, I think, while we still can. Well, not while we still can. Let's see, we can. There's a large hide. We'll pop you in. That can soak and do its thing in the relevant container and then we'll keep the leather going because the other thing that we really do want to get going is so that needs 20 hours is to get the uh, expanded backpacks uh, inventory should be our next I think I think should be our next target anyway how are my clothes looking just out of interest they're still okay, but they'll probably want repairing it this year. Okay, uh, what have we got and what do I need to put away? Uh, I need to put away that and I need to get rid of you. And the leather can go away up there. Let me just double check on an H on that. That is the leather backpack requires six and I've got five. <laughs> Of course it does. Um, but that's fine. I think, yeah, I mean, a reinforced shield might be interesting at some point. Uh, but right now, we, we've just, we haven't got the leather to do anything with that. So, what do I do with you again? I can never remember. Obtain by breaking. Squeeze out over a bucket or a bowl. Now, I believe this bucket here is my honey. It is. Okay, and then that lot as well. With that wax will come in handy for sealing food, so. Potentially candles for lanterns and all the other good stuff. But right now, just let's get everything ready and set aside so we can move forward. Um, time. Time for bed, I think. And time for me to check my um, inventory, uh, my recording time as well. So I'll be back in a moment. All right, I, I've been going about 47 minutes, so I've just taken the opportunity to plant up um, the uh, spelt, 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 I'm never sure, uh, rice and onions over here. Obviously, we've got our turnips doing their thing over on this one. Uh, I wanted to just, before we finish, go over and check out... Um, I also do need to just double check, double check my um, thing because there's still no sign of things. These are not doing anything yet. They're only at stage two, so that experiment will have to wait till next time. Um, but we are getting to the point where we actually, actually, we actually. I'm putting H's where there aren't any. That's a sign of of uh, madness there madness anyway yeah we we are going to these are doing the ripening in three days we'll ripen in three days two days three days blah 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 so we're going to have a load of fruit coming out um it's not particularly good fruit but it's fruit and these guys ow just for that I'm not going to feed you these guys are doing their thing as far as I can tell the flax is getting very close the that's definitely withered That's a mature pumpkin plant stage 7 of 8. And that's a mature plant. Withered plant. Withered vine. 
withered vine. So if you take off the withered vine, I wonder whether there's some trickery with this where you <coughs> you trim back the withered vines for the I don't know I'm fairly certain that is an ex-plant um, these are getting pretty close as is that so we're pretty close now to being able to get out and do a little bit of a little bit of adventuring uh, I'm regretting putting this here because I did actually have a mine shaft that went down over this side and um, it didn't really yield anything it was just to see what rocks were down there and yeah I could do with just going back down there and just double checking my uh, my thing but anyway on that note enough is enough let's move on we've made a little bit of program I'm very curious program a progress I'm very curious to see how these um, vines will work and I think my I think I'm going to continue stripping this hillside down and then over here still no no vine yet over here we have got this cave which on the surface looks like it goes quite deep it's, it's entirely wrong kind of thing but i'm thinking that this area over here i might actually turn into an open cast quarry to get the stone necessary to make things like the paths and stuff um but on that note thank you very much for watching guys i will see you soon and bye for now